Ooh. Hi guys, hi guys, we're back and better than ever. We're now on the floor. Yeah. We are now on the floor. Hashtag on the floor. Hashtag JLo. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck are you Pitbull? talking about? We I actually have a flight to catch soon. Have I packed? No. But instead, make it a YouTube video. Exactly. So we're eating. We didn't even get this food to do this. We just were eating and then just happened to just were like wanted to do this. So this food is a bunch of random nonsensical. This looks so nonsensical. Yeah. I have a Korean corn dog, which I'm gonna start eating now because I'm hungry. And it has it has potatoes. I don't know if you guys can see it. I don't think you guys can see it. Is it is it focusing? No, it's focusing on me and I don't blame it. But it has hot Cheetos, um, they're like spicy mayo sauce, sugar, potatoes, cheese. It's just American madness. And then I got this boba from this place near, not near our house. Mm -mm. Don't live anywhere near there. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah. I have boba as well. She has black sugar boba. I don't know what black sugar boba is. I've always heard of brown sugar boba. Which is why I was so confused when I walked in that place. And I have um, a coffee latte boba. And I have a bag of hot popcorn. And I have a shot of honey, lemon, and a tiny bit of water. Because if you couldn't tell, I'm having an allergic reaction. Whenever I accidentally eat gluten, one of my eyes gets slightly bigger than the other. Don't know why the fuck that happens. So I'm about to take this. And you guys are going to watch. And it's about to be fucking horrible because I hate the taste of honey. Go crazy. You know hold this real quick? I'd love to. Shots, 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 ah! shots, everybody! Back to swaddle. I thought that would taste so good. <laughs> I didn't even explain what that was going to do. It makes the allergic reaction less. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> I'm just giving myself more pain so I feel less pain in other areas. <laughs> Fuck. No, I don't know. So normally, if you accidentally eat gluten as a person with celiac, as I, I don't know if I should continue talking or not. If you accidentally eat gluten as a person with celiac, a shot of um, tequila helps your body digest. But I'm Muslim, so I can't do that. So I take a shot of lemon and honey. Booyah! Booyah for shah! No. Booyah! Booyah! Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Booyah for shah! No, I'm not saying the right thing. Booyah! Is it fucking bad? Rhinos, rhinos, rhinos. Me. Okay, so first topic of discussion. Um, people being obsessed with celebrities' lives. Me and her have two different opinions on this. You go for it, me personally first. Um, I just feel like obsession is is two different things. Like I like having somebody to be like to fawn over. I like. Having somebody to like, it's like, that's my favorite actress, she's been in all these fucking movies and I love her and therefore I'm gonna follow her on Instagram and I'm gonna keep up with her life because I like her. And I don't see that as like weird. There's definitely some people where it's like to an extent, like it's like too much. Like people who like K-pop idols, they'd be like stalking them. Like they're called um, Saisans, I think. They like follow them home and follow them to the airport and go to every one of their concerts and just stalk them. That's different. But I miss being a child and like being like, Oh my God, One Direction! I, I fucking love them. Like, I miss, I miss that. I never liked One Direction, but I miss that era of like fangirling. We don't have it anymore because all you guys are like, they're a fucking human being at the end of the day. <laughs> yes, they're a fucking human being, but they're here to entertain me, and I'm entertained, and I love them. Like that's um, how I feel. I'm the people she's talking about. Yep. Um, I feel like okay when well when I was like younger, you know people used to like decorate their lockers. Yeah. Like, pictures of people. Mm -hmm. I never did that. Never. I I didn't do it because I didn't have a locker, but I always wanted to do that. I never, ever, like all my friends I had was like in a group of like four friends, I think. And like, how many people are in One Direction? Five? Yeah, I think like, I think like five. Five. Four of them liked four One Direction members. Everybody in the friend group was like, I take Zayn, I take Liam, I take, like, you know, they all had their own. And then there was like one left over for me. I don't remember who it was. But I was just like, I'm not doing that, bro. I'm not doing that. You guys are quite strange. You have these men who don't know who you are in your locker. But it wasn't like... In my head, as a kid, it wasn't this serious. Like I'm making it sound like it's like like I was hating. Like I don't hate the game that much, mm -hmm. but it was like 
You guys don't find this a little bit strange? You don't want to put like pictures of your family members in your locker? No, what the fuck? I want to open my locker and it's like the Jonas Brothers. Like I want to, I want to open my locker and see people that I fan go over and just be like, oh, love them. And then go out my day. Like it's like, nobody can do that anymore because you guys are like, it's okay. And then like all celebrities also, especially like, I'm not going to say names, but a lot of celebrities like fucking play into that shit now. Like it's like, everybody's like, they're just a human being at the end of the day. So then they fucking go and talk and they just like do normal people things. And it's like, she's so real. She literally doesn't care. And it's like. <laughs> Can we have Nicki Minaj in 2003 again? Like, I just miss... You want, like, there to be a gap between us and them. Kind of. Uh, but not, like, in, not in, like, a Hunger Games type of way. Just in, like, a... <laughs> the capital. Yeah, not the capital, you know? But I just, like, I miss, like, I just miss that era that we had of, like, being obsessed with, like, actors and pop stars. And then, and, and that being gone also takes away the whole, like, Pop stars just don't do it like the way they used to do it anymore. Now we got, like, fuck you. You guys all just want to be normal so fucking bad. And it's, like, forced at this point. This isn't actually you. You're trying to make the people think, like, she's just a person, too. Bro, give us Lady Gaga again. Like, I'm tired, personally. I loved that era. Honestly, that era was good because they always up the ante on things. I feel mm -hmm. like every single time there was something else, it was just like, oh my gosh. Lady Gaga's wearing a fucking ribeye. Yeah. She's wearing a ribeye steak on her breast. <laughs> but now it's just like nobody, like I feel like every time we watch, like when we were watching the Met Gala, when we were watching, or when we watched the Grammys or whatever, no one, no one ever gives me like, she did not. Yeah. She, Lady, uh, what's her name? Katy Perry? Katy Perry? Shot fireworks on her titties. Yeah. Like people were doing things that were just like, every single day it was just like, these people are pop stars. Like they're pop stars. Now it's just like, nothing really up to Annie, but to play back on my point was like, okay, I'm Christian. One of the Ten Commandments is that you shouldn't have any other idols besides who? Thank you. I think that there's like, sometimes it it, there, it goes from being a fan to idolizing the, the person mm -hmm. or the people. And it's like, I'm a fan of certain people. I'm a fan of certain people's music. I like their music. I listen to their music. If I were to see them in the street, I'm not going to start going crazy because I'm not, if I don't, I don't idolize you. Mm -hmm. I like your music. So if I hear you have a concert, okay, I'm buying tickets, I'll go. But you as a person, I'm not going to go and now start drooling at the, at the mouth. I feel like I say this because not only is this I, idolization, but one time I met this celebrity, this model. <laughs> I met her at the Los Angeles Convention Center one time when I came out here to model, like way back, like 2018. I was literally like 18, 19 years old, didn't even have a content career at, at this point. I was just a, an aspiring model at this point. I saw her and I was just like, oh my gosh, you model for XYZ, I'm so, ah. and I was trying to take a picture with her. This really almost whooped my everlasting ass for trying to put a camera in her face, <laughs> but I wasn't even doing it like on some like, eh, like it was just like, oh my gosh, I love you. And then she was like, okay with that at that point. And then I was just like, can I just, wait, hold on. Like, and I was rushing to get to where I had to be because I was late and she was rushing as well. So it was not like, I'm not about to sit here and be like, can we, can we get a pic? Me. <laughs> I was not about to sit here. I was not about to sit here and be like, can we get a pic? And stop. Like, we were both clearly running to where we had to be. Mm -hmm. She was like way far. Like, she was not even near me. She was mm -hmm. so far. It wasn't like I had a camera in her face, mm -hmm. bro. I was so far away from her. This, And I was just like, oh my gosh, like, look. And I had to like zoom in from my Snapchat camera, like zoom so far to even see that it was her. Mm -hmm. This really was, I was seeing her, my camera running at me. I said, hey. <laughs> <laughs> and her boyfriend was like holding on to her and she was just going crazy. Ever since then, I'm like, honestly, don't even know why I wanted a picture with anybody. Like, why was I even taking a picture? Like, that's just weird. Why am I taking a picture of another human being? Like, uh, I'm a fan of their work. They're, mo they're a model. Not them. Mm. And that made me feel very much humbled and very much like, Stacey, now if I see anybody, now whenever we, we've seen so many celebrities, I do the utmost to make them feel very much humbled. <laughs> I'm like, I have no I, God. That's I enough. do the same. You know what? In Islam, we also have the same thing where it's like, you're not supposed to idolize people. So like, I be seeing, like, people always come for like men and they were like, they get the same haircut that Messi has or Ronaldo has. And they're like, you can't be doing that. Like, you, you're so obsessed with them. You ain't got the same fucking haircut as them. Like, it's like, it's also like not seen as something good to do. But it's like, I don't want to idolize them. I just want the fun back. Like, it's like, guys fucking, like, nothing is the same anymore. That's not even what I was about to say. Well, that's not what I was saying. When, that's not what I was <laughs> That's not what I was saying when I started that sentence. Somehow I got there. 
But it's just like, oh yeah, no, I'd be humbling them too, but it's because the couple times that I got a little bit excited, they did the same thing to me. Like, it's just like, like you look like you want to fucking beat me up. But it's like, I feel like, damn, oh, bitch, that's mine. I don't so, love you no so more. So now, whenever we get invited to stuff and we see people that we know or like celebrities that we've like seen before, or actors, singers, whatever, I don't even pay them any fucking mind. Mm -hmm. But I also go out of my way to make people who come up to me yeah. feel like that's not it. Like, that's not yeah. a thing. Like, if you want a picture, we can see her all day and get that picture. I'm telling you about that picture. Like, that, like, and I'd be turning up, get, taking drinks, let's go to the bar, let's go. One time I found myself in somebody's hotel room. I was at this event. I was in the hotel room with all their friends. I was just like, I think I did. I think I overdid it. I grew up a little bit too hard. <laughs> grew up bust. <laughs> but like, to like that, like I hate when making people feel like that. How do you just? How do you? How someone saying they're a fan of you, trying to take a picture with you, and, and you, you, you want to whoop their ass? Get the fuck out of my face. Yeah, that's just. Yeah. I I still stand on the fact that I miss. Things that. will never be the same. Things will never be the same. Sorry, girl. <sighs> Rom coms are not the same anymore. Like we've been. We, we now, like, the only people who are doing it are, like, the Koreans, for real. They still have, like, boy groups and girl groups, and they have fucking great K-dramas. And it's like, what the fuck? In America, what are you guys doing? Y'all are not giving a shit. Every single big pop star now isn't even, like, American. They're from other places. Which is cool. Kudos. Honestly, there's not, it's not going back to that time. It's, it's never going back. Like, kiss it goodbye. I, I'm, I... Yeah. So sorry. But it's like, kudos that all these other ethnicities and cultural groups are having their chance. But it's like, in America, like that's like in other countries, like Rosalia, Blackpink, like everybody's like, I think they're fucking cool as fuck. But it's like, here in the country that I'm in, girls are not giving a shit. Nothing. Sorry, really. Anyways. Um, we also had a topic of every month there's a new it girl. Mm -hmm. And how you guys just like obsess over somebody and like make them like become an influencer within a month and then you just like don't care about them anymore and it's like it's just like this constant rigmarole it falls into the same thing we were just talking about mm -hmm. we idolize people i don't know it's very strange to me like i was watching on tiktok there was this big like wedding that happened Everybody like I did not know who this girl was. I did not know where this girl came from. All of a sudden, everybody's obsessing with her. Everybody wants to know what earrings she had on, what makeup she was wearing. And Layla, I promise you, I saw a post that said what makeup she was wearing on her wedding, and it was the most like some of it was like expensive makeup, mm -hmm. but Layla was the most like five minute makeup drugstore thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Like it was very much like even if you looked at the face, mm -hmm. you could have achieved that face without knowing the product. Everyone's like, but what, what was on her lip? It's like, it doesn't, it's not that serious, bro. It's really not that serious. And now, you, like, I feel like every single month, there's a new person who we all choose to hyper obsess over. There's also this group of people, have you ever seen the poly couple on TikTok? Oh, that couple with the, where they're like dating this little girl? A uh, light skin girl? <laughs> I don't know, but I've heard, I've never seen this, but I've heard she's like young compared to the couple. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. They're like they're called a poly couple and they're on TikTok, they go live every single night. And basically there are three people and the, there's a man and two women and then he he claims that he wants like seven wives and like he's gonna like be a multi billionaire, biggest like entrepreneur in this world. Like he claims, has a lot of claims. This man seems like he has some screws loose in his head. He uh, one of the one of the wives is his age is like thirty or something, the other one is like 18 when they went they started out you know mm -hmm. and so it's all it's causing all this drama and so everybody tunes into their life every single night they get to the point where they get like 30,000 views on tiktok every single night every single night and then the whole entire comment section this is what's the funniest thing of it all the whole entire comment section is you started dating her when she was 18. This is not right. You were cheating on her with her. How can you say you want seven husbands? Polyamory is wrong. Like everybody's like, it's all negative comments. Uh -huh. You guys are the one who are making them have this platform. Because yeah. every single night without fail, you tune in, tap in. What us as a black people can we just tap <laughs> out? I'm so confused. Like every single time I see it on my 40 page, like I see the live, I'm like, okay, this week they had 10, 10K. Next day, 15k. How how do we get to 60k views on tics, on on live? And then the whole thing. Every and they let people join the live they're and then and argue and the, everyone who's joining is like, how can you even? How can like basically be negative? Why do you care so much? Why do you care? And I don't. If you really wanted it to stop, you would not tap in. Yeah. And it gives me the same. You know when black people used to argue about like 
who should sit in the front seat? Your mom or your girlfriend? Remember when we used to have that argument yeah, on Twitter? Yeah, yeah. And that argument had black people in a fucking chokehold. And it was like, bro, white people are out here teaching their kids how to have a, a uh, what's it called? A, um, a retirement fund. They're teaching their kids like real shit. We're stuck on who should sit in the, in the front seat. We would have already been at the destination <laughs> already. If we had, every time they had that argument, I'd be tapping into that argument. Bro, we didn't but stop. It's but it's because I feel like it makes sense for the mom to be in the front seat. End of argument. Bye, bro. We're finished. Unless the mom is like extremely fucking disrespectful to your girlfriend or to your woman, your woman. It's just like the mom, she birthed you. She sits in the front seat. I just don't know why. His mother. I just don't know why. I see that argument. It is a why bit of a, why are we even about arguing this? about it? It's like, everybody can have their own fucking opinion and just fucking let it go. And There's so much away. more that needs to be spoken about. There's so many things that are actually hurting the world, burdening the world. We're talking about who's in the front seat, and now we're all hyper obsessed over this polyamorous You know who you sound like right now? Who? You know when Jaden Smith says... <laughs> you know, Jaden Smith is like, can we talk about the problems in the earth right now? And, 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 you know, I need to find the quote actually, because that shit was fucking hilarious. Wait, wait. Oh, that made me laugh so fucking hard. Oh, I just think it's like, when I have conversations, I just hate to feel stupid. And when I take part in certain conversations, I feel very much dumb. Mm -hmm. Like, why am I watching three grown people in their kitchen every night and wondering why they're in their kitchen? How'd they get this kitchen? Are they going to get more people in this kitchen? Is this man going to sleep with everybody who's in this kitchen? And let me go on there and let me ask him all these questions. Like, it's never that fucking serious. Who sits, bro, sits in the fucking car, drive it. We're going to get this to the destination faster than we will have this argument. Like, I don't care if it's your mom or your girlfriend or, and I promise you, if, if I just tweet right now, who should sit in the front seat, your mom or your girlfriend, black Twitter will go crazy. Yeah. It's, it starts yeah. off every single year the, and it's like, can we, sh can we as a group, can we, can we stop, can we just shut the fuck up as a, as a unit? And the thing, the thing that makes me so annoyed is that we just play into it like some fools. Uh -huh. Layla, every night 60k views, <laughs> but you're all telling each other that this is wrong. This is bad. You're giving Did you them see the this. Did you you're, see? you're even giving them bread now too, so you can even fund now for these two more and go get a third one. Bro, I want black people to be free. It's all but, no, what Jada Smith says is, um, I couldn't find the quote, but it came to me as I was searching. He says something along the lines of like, "Bro, can we talk about the state of the economy right now?" And like people were arguing about something, and that's what he said in response. And now everybody eats him up every single fucking time. Like, they're like, <laughs> they're shut the up. fuck up. You want to talk about the fucking state of the economy? Let's have this argument. But yeah. They're going to eat me the fuck up, but bitch. It's less of like, I don't give a fuck about. I don't know why I'm swearing so much. It's such a potty it's mouth. Me. It's me. I'm sorry. Don't come back like, bitch, what the. <laughs> but I don't really care about too many serious things. I don't talk about serious things. I don't talk about politics. Sorry, daddy. But. Things like that is just like, we are knowingly being very stupid and taking part of a very stupid argument right now. Can we just stop? Can we talk about something even, the, I don't mind if we talk about something stupid, but can we talk about something else? <laughs> bro, this has been a top, trending topic for months. Years. Oh, the, the couple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it has been. Can I keep stop? hearing about this couple. I haven't seen them yet. Now that we talked about it, it's probably going to come on my For You page, mm -hmm. but I've been hearing about them. We don't feel it. And they're um, the new it girls, because now we're obsessed. Mm -hmm. Um, another topic we have is people who are always like, oh, woe is me. Nobody can relate to my fucking problems. That shit is, I should slap you in your fucking mouth. Every time people do that shit, it's like, woe is me. Please, shut the fuck up. It actually gets me angry. Cause it's like, I, I don't know. I've had a lot of things happen to me in my life and I do story times about it and I talk about it. But like, I try my hardest not to like fucking belittle other people's life problems because I, for, I think mine was worse. I knew this guy who like every time people, he would like start a story about like, oh, my dad fucking used to beat on me as a child. And then people are like, oh my God, no way, like me too. He goes, no, but no, like it's different. My dad used to really beat on me. And it's like, shut, everybody got beat on. Shut the fuck up. Like you're, you're just, you're just making this a big ass problem. And it doesn't need to be that big of a fucking problem. And going off of that, do you have anything to say about that? Mm -mm. Going off of that, there was a, a Vietnamese girl. I believe she was Vietnamese. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I feel like she said that in the video. She was like in a cab and was going somewhere and the driver was like, oh, where are you from? And she's like, I'm from Vietnam. And then she's like, he was like, oh, okay, well, my girlfriend's Chinese. So sometimes I try to like see where the person is from. And then she fucking got so fucking offended by that. And she was like, I 
been racially profiled before. And it's, I mean, I, if somebody asked me, are you Ethiopian? And I said, no, somebody would be like, oh, well, I dated an Ethiopian girl, so I'm trying to guess, like, you know, East Africans. Because they look alike. Everybody from the same general area, you guys tend to look alike. Ethiopians, Somalis, Kenyans, Eritreans, all of us fucking look alike. East Asians, you guys are going to look similar. And Latinos, you guys are going to look similar. Like, it's like, sh and it's like, it's different if he's saying, all of you look exactly the fucking same. That's not what he said to you. He said, my girlfriend's Chinese. So sometimes I just try to, like, guess where people are from. And you started crying. You asked him to pull over the car and you got out the fucking car. Bitch, are you fucking dumb? Everybody wants to struggle. And she, like, was trying so hard to... And then she even, like, did a story about how she, like, went to this restaurant in Chinatown. And they wouldn't see her immediately. And she was like, they were being racist to me. I'm literally... I'm so... And she's, like, crying all the time. And I'm, like, watching these videos, like... Every time you tell this story, it looks like you're the fucking problem. If we're gonna be honest with each other here. It's like everybody wants to struggle. Everybody wants to struggle a little bit. I guess, bro, I, I just... <laughs> this world is actually kind of quite boring to be a part of. <laughs> like, everybody just has, like, the same script for everything. Like, yeah. everyone wants to struggle. Like, when you see, like... I saw this girl who was uh, this gym, gym TikToker. Mm -hmm. I can't remember her name. But she, like, be talking to herself while she's exercising. And she's like, oh, oh, I'm so strong. I didn't even know I could do that. Oh, then she'll, like, figure out a machine and be like, I'm a genius. I didn't even know I could do that. Like... She'd be uplifting herself, mm -hmm. but I, and it, it was perplexing me. Like I really liked it, but I was so confused as to like, wow, why, why did that tickle such a nice nerve ending in my brain? Mm -hmm. Because I'm constantly used to hearing like, ah, oh, I'm so dumb. Oh, I'm such a bitch. Oh fuck, I'm going to hell. Oh fuck, <laughs> like it's like everyone just doing like all this like rah rah. And then when you when you go, well, let's say you go on TikTok, everybody, everybody's late. Everybody's, uh, everybody's on some. Hey guys, I'm super late. Only have ten minutes to go somewhere. Like everybody just like wants to have a struggle. Yeah. They want to pick a struggle, and nobody like, are you are you really all late? Are you really all dumb? Or are you fucking pretending? Are you really all getting beat on? Yeah. yeah. You all want to pick a struggle. And, and no, and it's, what's like, really crazy to me is when people lie about that stuff so that like they can get somebody. Yeah, and, and most of them are. Most they of are. Them are. I first we firsthand experienced somebody like this who would lie about having mental illnesses for the sake of like sympathy points. Bitch, you're fucking weird as fuck. Why would you lie about that? Yeah, why would you fucking, why is that something you're lying about right now? I would never lie about that. And then like, like she can even convince herself. Yeah, she's fully she's convinced. Had these things. Because she said it so many fucking times. And it's like, also like I knew another girl where it was like, every time that I'd be like, this is wrong in my life, she'd be like, but this is what's wrong in my life. It's like, it's like the depression oh, Olympics. Depression Olympics, literally that's what the fuck it is. It's like, who can do, who can be sad, who can outside each other right now? It's, it's exhausting. Like, who can out, out. Oh, you you got your shoes stepped on? I got my shoes shit on. Oh, uh, you got your car wrecked? I got my car fucking turned over the fucking... Like, it's like, who can struggle harder right now? Or I, can, I don't know where this begun or why it's a thing, but it's, it's fucking tiring, tiring. guys. It's exhausting. Somebody put a, a video on my For You page about them being so early. Somebody, please. Wait, I'm <laughs> literally begging. I'm literally begging from the bottom about of my About being early? Somebody needs to go on my For You page and just be like, I'm so early right now. Let's see how many things I can fit in. Oh my gosh, I'm the smartest. Oh my gosh, I made such good food today. Can I hear some of that? Every, everything I see is always like, I'm just, I'm just the worst. Oh, she's just bad. Oh, <laughs> no, you know what else? Such a negative fucking Nancy. Bro, I, is this bad? I'm like actually talking about real people. This is bad. No, these people are, yeah, okay. are wrecked in the head. This, this, this person on TikTok. I don't um, know who you're going to talk about when you talk about them though. Like, it's just as a surprise to you as it is to me okay. right now. This person on TikTok was like, um, somebody said, Oh, you're vaping and then he says i was in rehab when i was 16 so i think i have bigger problems than that and it was like ha that was funny cool then they turned into an audio where everybody's like using that audio to like make the same comments where they're like oh you like it's just i can't even i kind of want to find an example of a video should i just pull one up so i can really discuss this topic it's not that good i've tried it what i've tried it i took a couple steps it's good but it's like bitter can i just yours yeah. Actually, I can't even. I had gluten. Oh, no, if you just switch your straw, you could drink it. It's like, no, mine's not sweet enough. Oh, mine's not sweet, bro. Promise you, what the fuck? Honestly, is it even that deep? Can I just take it? I'm just gonna take your word for it. Yeah, it's pretty bitter. It's not very sweet. I kind of want to open this fucking hole and pour sugar in there. I know. <laughs> I think I want to do this. We have syrup in the, like, coffee syrup. Let's see. So stupid. Honestly. Let's see. This is the original video. But let's see if people are using the audio. 
Guys, while she's looking for them, I'm just going to tell you guys that I have to install a wig tonight, fly to the East Coast, pack the bags to that I'm going to fly to the East Coast with, pack the camera and all that nonsense so I can actually give you guys weekly uploads like I fucking promised, and it's driving me a little bit insane, so I'm doing all this <laughs> Um Behind it. I found, I, I don't want to use like actual people's examples because like the, I don't want like it to seem like I'm dragging actual people, mm -hmm. but it's like, they're just saying things along the lines of like, like I could give an example of a way like if I were to partake in that trend, how I could do it, but it's like, then I just look like them. I don't know how to show this example. Basically, it's just like, they took this boy saying, he was like, oh, I, yeah, I vape, whatever, but I was in rehab at 15. So that's the least of my fucking problems. All I do now is vape, which is like reasonable why he fucking said that. Now you guys are like, um, my teacher getting mad at me because I was tardy, but I literally just had to fucking, I literally tried to kill myself last night. So, and it's like, the fuck? What the fuck? Yo, you're so weird. Like that shit is so fucking weird to me. But I'm also like, Stacey has pointed this out in me and I don't know if it's like bad or good, but like a lot of times when like people are like, this is what happened. I'm always like, bro, fucking relax. <laughs> fucking relax. But that's just like how I'm wired. Like it's like something could be going so left in my life and I'm not gonna now go and cry about it to everybody. Some people are very sensitive and they do want to cry about it to people. But, but when they do it to me, I'm just like, oh my God, please don't fucking come to me with that. I don't know what you want me to say to you now. And you're just whining. And some people do it so much where it's just like, okay, yeah. you know, what the fuck? This is like the fourth time this week that you told me there's something wrong with you. I can't keep fucking, fucking rubbing on your head and telling me everything's going to be okay. Get out of my no. fucking face. Huh? Yes. Like, what is going on? Are you a man? Oh my or God. Not. Bro. A man. You're a man. You're supposed to be like at war or something. And no, and not to like act like men can't have okay, feelings. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, because we're never gonna get Yeah, those. not to act like men can't have feelings, but this this one guy just kept doing this so much. But it was giving almost like, I'm ugly, right? I'm ugly, right? I didn't think now you're fucking ugly. I didn't think you, I was talking to you actually because I thought you were cute, but you keep saying I'm ugly right because you're trying to yeah. fucking pry compliments out yeah. of me and praise from me. Now you're fucking ugly. Bro, men, men, men? Are starting to act like women. <laughs> They're starting to be a misconfused, a miscon like it's like we're getting the message misconstrued here, bro. Earlier this week, not only is there this nigga talking about, oh, what was I'm sad, mean? oh, am I ugly, or am I pretty, or what? Me, <laughs> let me know why this nigga told me today. He said, fucking read it. I'm reading it. <laughs> I'm reading it. I texted it. Okay, I had a, basically, I'm gonna tell y'all. And if he sees this, bitch, fuck you. Um, I had a mental breakdown, right? And so then I was like, you know what? I'm talking to way too many niggas right now. Let me cut them all off because that's why I'm having a mental fucking breakdown. So I, I cut, I, I, I didn't cut them all off. I gave them a nice, all gave them a nice perspective paragraph about this is what's happening with me. My mental health is not good right now. I don't need to be fucking up with so many people. Like, it's, let me just stop. This man said, first of all, I did not even care about the mental fucking breakdown. This nigga said, okay. Bye. Bye. That's all. That's good. Like just very, basic, very, very much like okay. Well, good, good life. Why would you act like you know? Very like st um, what's it called? Brushing me off. Yeah. I said okay. Now I did my prayer. I did my mental heal. I fixed myself. I what's the the TikTok song? It's like I I I blinked and I cured my brain. <laughs> <laughs> I blinked and I cured my brain. So I come back and I text him. I'm like, yo, I miss you. <laughs> like that was my dumbass idea to do that, but I told him I was like, I miss you, like whatever. Like, and he said, you can't just pick me up when you need when you're bored. And I said, okay, no, but right, rightfully so, rightfully so. So, and I apologize for making him feel like he was disposable and that he was like, you know, like just like I could just do that skitas canta. I felt I felt bad. I was like, you know what, you're actually fucking right. I my I, I do apologize. And then I said, I'm never like I basically said I'm never gonna do this again. This man said to me. And then when you do it again, then what am I, what am I supposed to do? And then, what do, am I supposed to expect to do, 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 do this at every stressful period? With an exclamation point. I've never seen anybody <laughs> use an exclamation point the way an exclamation point is supposed to be fucking used. Like, normally it's used for, like, excitement or, or laughing. He used this in a very serious tone. And I promise you guys, the paragraph that I sent was very much, I'm sorry. Won't happen again. Didn't make you mean to make you feel like that. And sometimes I'd be over. I'd be over. Like when I'm in an argument with some, somebody, I'd be over analyzing how they feel. Like sometimes it's like I need to remember. Like it's me v you. Yeah. Me versus you. You are the enemy. I am not the enemy right and now. And she'd be mad, nice. Yeah, I'd be mad. Like I'm heartbroken. I'm depressed. But you, you probably 
did that to me you probably cheated on me because you have daddy issues and that's um i'm sorry for those daddy issues and like i do too much of playing both sides of the fence trying to figure out what the other person's wrong what's wrong with the other person and it's like bitch i should put you on a stick and fucking roast you bitch <laughs> you fucking this and then i said i texted him and i was like um i didn't say anything i just ignored that oh my gosh i didn't realize i didn't say anything I'm dead. Oh, I just removed them off every single social media platform because I was like, clearly we're not getting anywhere. Clearly conflict resolution is not your thing. Yeah. And so it is my thing and I'm not gonna, we have two different aims here. We're never ever gonna get to a common destination. So we're just uh, gonna it's, what's, that, what's that math thing where it's like, they're parallel lines. Yep, and they're not so they're, they're never, they're not yep, gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna, never going cross. to cross. So I was like, you know what, fuck it. So I removed all social media. I was like, we're never gonna speak again. It is what it is. Then he's next to me saying, I just, re I just realized you removed me off every single social, me social media, period. LOL, period. Bye. You're truly something else, period. Bye, period. I was like, yo. <sighs> Niggas talk more than bitches these days. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so stressed by you. Like, you're a, you're an Oman. You're just an Oman. It's supposed to be me that is, that is like, my thong is supposed to be getting into a French braid. I'm supposed to be the one who's like, I'm the one who's supposed to be like, tweaking out and, and like, Go, I'm the one who's supposed to be doing that dumb shit. Yeah. I'm supposed to be like, you're blocked. Blah, like, why are you on my phone? And you're, oh God, let me not even, let me not even. Like, Lord, <laughs> you're like, at your big age. You're a <laughs> six foot plus man. With the bills. And you're in my fucking family. messages whining. Talking about, begging talk to the hand, loser. Bye. Bye. E. I need to go back to an Adam and Eve. I need to go back to an Adam and Eve. <laughs> oh my god. I took the ill tangent with that, but like, bitch. Mm -mm. I'm gonna lift this up because I realize it's very fucking low. Can I do this without fucking it up, bro? Oh my god, please don't fucking do this to me right now. <laughs> <laughs> I did absolutely fucking nothing. Oh, I it, it was, topic. Yeah. Another topic we had was um, how Disney Channel used to have us in a fucking <laughs> chokehold. As kids, did you spill something? Oh. Right there, I fucking deep throated it. This shit came flying at my esophagus. <laughs> yeah. Flying back. Okay. Basically, me and her the other day were like in the kitchen talking about like, bro, Disney Channel episodes, even Nickelodeon, when they would like have these crossover episodes, like when the Jonas Brothers and Miley Cyrus met and like Nick told Miley Cyrus, like Hannah Montana, that he thought she was cute. And I was like, what? When worlds collide. Like, that's how I felt. Like, I was like, what? Like, I would, bro, that shit used to like. Mm hmm. Mm. It was just send me somewhere else. <laughs> she put it perfectly. She said, They still, they live in the same planet? That's how I said. No, literally. When there was crossover episodes, it was like, okay, I'm clicking. When there was like, okay, when Miley, if you watch Hannah Montana, when Miley told Lily, her best friend, that she was Hannah and took her wig off and was like, I'm Hannah. I said, what? <laughs> Whoa! When I was a kid, I was literally like, why would she do that in my, her career? Her, like, no, I, you know what did that to me? The Hannah Montana movie where she takes off her wake up front of everybody. I was like, oh, even that. I was like, I was like, you're the This is detrimental to the brand. And then I'm like, sitting as a kid, <laughs> to the brand. This is bad for business, babe. Oh but God. then I was like, and then you just trust your whole entire city to keep this secret? I mean, yeah. I guess it fucking worked, but damn. But I was like, I was, was, as a child, it was unrealistic to me. I was like, nobody, somebody's gonna fucking snitch, you idiot. <laughs> Bro, now your whole career is on the fucking line. She's just, I don't tell anybody. Huh? <laughs> I was in the audience. She said, don't tell anybody. And then I she was said, in the audience. She said, don't tell anybody. And then she said, what's the song? The climb? How does that start? I can almost see it. I would have been like, I can almost see it. <laughs> Bro. I would have been you wouldn't even guess it was a bitch in a 613 wig this whole time it is her bro and this, these things just got me like when i tell you like like as a kid and now the kids nowadays don't have the same vim like they don't like I'd be looking, disney channel i'd be looking at like my little brother and i'm like i'd be like bro when disney channel used to say 8 p.m eastern time i said <laughs> me up there 8 p.m i'm even googling what is 8 p.m eastern time and i made sure i was there for that for whatever was coming on at that time and I was you know like, what though? Um, shit used to be fucking fire back then. And then as it got, as we got older, like all of these fucking channels became progressively worse. And you know what's really crazy? Writers are on strike right now because they're not getting paid enough. And it's like everything's adding up. It's like y'all are not paying them enough, so they're not giving us the same like fucking we had when we were younger. 
Y'all are not fucking paying them the shit that they fucking deserve to be paid. Whatever. Like, they're all on strike right now. You know, like, hopefully they start paying niggas. But it's like, now kids are watching, like, Euphoria and Shameless, which they're not supposed to be fucking watching as children. But it's like, Disney and Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network, you guys are not giving them jack fucking shit. For kids to be watching Euphoria. Bro, every 13-year-old that my little sisters are friends with has fully watched Euphoria. My little sisters are the only ones who have not watched Euphoria. Because I told them, don't fucking watch that. That is not for your age. All of those kids have watched it. That is bonkers. But it's why? Because you gave them Bizarre Vark. No, you, you gave them a like, dog with a blog. Yeah, like, what the fuck? What do you expect those kids to do now? Like, you didn't give them, like, like... Ugh. No, we had, guys, we had, like, we really had the deep... Jonas it. Brothers. Bro, Wizards of Waverly Place, even though my Christian teacher told me that that is an anti- <laughs> anti-Christian of me to be watching, but, like, the episode where Alex was, like, oh, like, mad dissing her brother, mad acting like she doesn't appreciate her family, and then, boom, when it came time for her to need them, they're like, oh, I don't know who you are. I don't know. And she's, like, crying. The power of family, the power of a bond. Please, bro, please, please. I was like, please. Scream at this, like, scream, like, remember her, remember her. These kids nowadays, bro, when I saw that fucking dog with that fucking vlog. And, and then had paws. Some paws, some fake ass paws like this. And it's like, your finger can't even reach that key. <laughs> so, bro, we had, we had, you know what else we had? Oh, um, remember when Disney Channel had a Disney XD? I don't think you like Disney XD. I was a Disney XD kid. They had like skating shows on there. They had fucking um, th- those two kings. And it was like a black boy. Mm, like, I was. Like, so yeah. like it's like, bro, what? They were they were fucking putting their foot in that and shit. And everything. Now it's a bit. I feel like the only good thing that kids have right now is Amazing World of Gumball. And like, that's pretty much it. That was it. Loki or Us thing as well. That's just yeah. like, it's just like, it keeps going. Yeah, it's people so still watch it. Going. But it's like, even Amazing World of Gumball, nobody's really understanding the references that are being made right now. Mm-hmm. These are very, like, even when I watched it growing up and then I watch it again right now, I'm like, bro, I didn't get any of these jokes as a child. Now I get them. And this shit is fucking pure comedy. Like the- but we had Looney Tunes. We had Scooby-Doo. We had, like, now you got that dumbass fucking Velma show and you made her a bad person. As far as I've watched, I've only watched like, the first two episodes. Velma ain't shit. She's a bitch now. But they're just like, I guess- the They're just like- They're just doing the weird- Recycling and like everything. Like making this person queer, making this person black, making this person like, it's like, it's okay, you guys are tired. Maybe that's no more TV now. How about that? I think no more Disney Channel, no more. Everybody go it's, to Disney It's World. very forced too. It's like, 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 it's like, I can, you know when you can see through what somebody's doing? It's like, this character isn't black now because you decided to make them black now. This character is black now because you were like, we need inclusivity. Yeah. Let's just take one of these characters and make them black now. And it's just like, give us something new and then make the characters black. You know? And then make them like it's other things. So like, it's like weird, bro. It's, it's literally forced. so like, it's so like, okay, the times are changing. The kids are picking new pronouns. They're picking their race. <laughs> they're picking their, we need to make our characters do the same thing. Now the characters are all just like, but it's like, it doesn't play into the storyline very well. At like, all. It's it just like do with the storyline. This it, they'll pick like the same character who's always been inside. Like they'll pick like Buzz Bunny, who's always been in the in the storyline for life. Now all of a sudden, he goes by they them and he's black. Like it's like this made no sense. And I don't, I don't know if anybody else is peeping this. Like you guys be eating it up, and I'm watching it. Like you didn't see what they just. Did. No, they didn't really eat it. Up. No one really be eating it up. People on Twitter were eating up Velma for a little while, and then they started making fun of it because they were like, "You made her black, and then you made her eat shit." The fuck was that about? Like, why did you do that? But like, and then at what point? At what? Why? I just want to ask. Why was Why was Velma now black after years and years and after decades like twenty of years of her being white? white? What? What? And it's like, what's that vitiligo? Yeah, pretty sure it doesn't work that way. Am I tripping? Wait. <laughs> do, white, do white people with vitiligo go the other way? No, it always no, goes they don't. to white. Yeah, it gets so, lighter and lighter. So it's not like a disease she came up with. Like it's just like one day she just woke up black. Is it a dream? You just made her black. Like, it's like... And for what reason? I'm confused. I'm confundido with you. <laughs> Next one. Okay. Bro, we have so many things written down. Oh my gosh. I'm like kind of full, but like not even that full. And I ate a bunch of bullshit. Like, I like for my meals to be nutritionally, nutritionally advanced. And like, a lot of protein, a lot of, you know, fiber. And this one was just pure cheese. On top of that, I'm lactose intolerant. So... You also just drink that. It has milk in it. It tastes like shit. So why am I drinking it? Don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm not really going there again. It's not really that great of a fucking drink. Maybe I'll go there and try the mango one though. See what the fuck that's it's talking also about. Also, just juice, but yeah. Um, 
Oh, fuck, I read it and then I forgot it. Come on. Guys, my nails, like, I'm such a talker with my hands, and this is, like, scaring me. Like, this is scaring me. Just bite them off. Um, the other day, me and Stacy stayed up so fucking late, talking about just, like, random things. And we realized, we were like, <laughs> we're bored and want to have somebody to be with. <laughs> no, like, I want us. And you know what's crazy? We realized we don't actually want it that bad. We're just doing it out of pure boredom. Out of pure yes. boredom now, we're like, I need a boyfriend. Like, it's but you like, know what? I do want it that bad. I do want a man that bad. Like, if, if I got somebody who was perfect and he could, like, husband material, like, right now, mm -hmm. Uh, he's obsessed with, I'm obsessed with him, but he's more obsessed with me than I am with him. And it's just everything good. And his money is looking real, real nice. And his money's looking like mine. Makes me chuckle a little bit. A lot. If it's like that comes up, I'm in a hurry. I wanna, I'm in a hurry to get a husband. But the, the boredom kicks in because the husbands are not here. Yeah. So we're just talking to these scallywags. Bro, the boredom. Oh my god. Everybody. We keep talking about men, bro. The Sorry. Men, we love ya. I literally had to break to my dad. Like, I'm like, Baba. Giving dialogue. They don't make niggas like the way that they used to anymore. No, they don't. Everybody, you want to split the fucking bill? You want to split rent? 50. 50, 50. 50. Oh! Wait, sorry. Let's miss this conversation and write the next topic down because this is something I want to talk about as well. I could throw up in your face right now. 50, 50. But when I was younger, when I was younger, I was dating this man who was Nigerian, which is crazy because like, how are you a broke Nigerian, but we move. Um, he said, there are- As a Nigerian man, no, how dare you you're be literally broke? Are supposed to be, like the, the, the literal flag is green and white. It's, you literally have a money colored flag. You're supposed to be, even draw some blood, there should be coins coming out. Like, you're, how did you, anyways. So our first day he made us, we split the bill. Mind you, we were at a Chinese restaurant, local Chinese spot. Like it was, the bill was like 35 bucks. Like, why are we splitting this? But in my head it was on something like, why are we splitting this? We're both college, in my head it was like, we're college kids, you know, whatever, like we can split the bill. On, in retrospect, upon further discovery, when I started making money and realizing that 35 bills on the first date is not shit. Not only is it not deep, or not much. You shouldn't be dating if you don't have money mm -hmm. for a date. You shouldn't be um, walking around like you are that guy if you don't have money for a date. You know, that's, that's, I'm just gonna retract that point. You're um, lying. You're actively yeah. walking around and lying yeah. to everybody right but now. But like, why are you? Why are you? Why are you dating with no money? Why? Why are you asking me to go out on dinner? You, to go get dinner? You can barely you uphold can't your own self. If you were sitting here by yourself. And then when I started making money and realizing like, okay, wait, I could, I could, from now on, I could pay every single date mm -hmm. by myself. I can afford every single date by myself. Who are you? Yeah. Who are you and why are you asking about this 50-50 nonsense? Get the fuck out of here. But like so many men today are on that 50-50 bullshit. Bro, get the, get the 50-50 out of here. Yeah. Like you and then on top of that, I come from a house where my dad doesn't make me go 50-50 for nothing. My brothers don't make me go 50-50 for nothing. So it's like. Okay, as Africans, we have dowry price. For you to take me as as your beautiful, sexy wife, <laughs> it's like, okay, when you do dowry, you're telling my dad, basically, here's money or whatever, cows, whatever, for in exchange for your daughter. I can now take care of her. This girl is now mine. Everything you used to do, I'm going to do and more. And that's what you're supposed to be telling my dad by doing, by taking me on. You're bringing me from my father's house to give me less than my father? Take no, me back. you're bringing me from my father's Take house and then you're asking me for money. Take me back. Take me back. You're asking me? The living conditions are not okay. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go home. Dad, wait. Daddy. <laughs> no. <laughs> but this is the branch off of this topic. Me and her talking about this other night as well. The way Muslim girls go about life is very different yeah. than the way other yeah. girls do. And it's like, we're raised. So for those of you guys who don't know, in Islam, I know for some reason they be fucking, y'all be thinking, Muslim girls don't have any fucking rights and their husband beat on them and they don't they don't get to go outside. No bro. By Islamic laws, it's literally ran down. When you get married, your nigga's money is your money and his money. And then should I continue or should I wait for you? No, you should continue. This bitch. What do you have to do? To end the gross my lips are chopped. Okay. By Islamic laws, it says that his money is your money and his money. And then your money is your money. He's not allowed to fucking touch that shit. And that's how Muslim girls are raised. Like, it's like, and that's, like, it's just like, so the way I go about life is like, if you 
want the opportunity to be with me. You need to be able to pay for me, you, the rent, the children, the food, everything. But that doesn't mean I'm a housewife now. I can still go have a job, but now that money that I get from the job is mine. It's It's monopoly money. money. It's like, go get my nails done, go get my hair done, go get a new outfit. Like, it's like, that's what that money's for. And you're also supposed to give me money to go get my nails done too. But it's like, now, now it's like, the men are like 50 50, bro. You can't even, you can't even fucking pay for my fucking nails. But it's also because there's women who are like hyper independent um, yeah. and showing up there's women. So now they, so now Bro, they, if they you want to be hyper dependent, you will be hyper dependent over there. Yeah. Don't fucking bring that nonsense over here. Like if you've been with girls who are hyper dependent, then go continue to do that. Because me personally, Those are changed me to one I'm, I'm capable. I'm not one of them. I'm capable, but I'm not doing that. Once you're here, I am incapable now. What relaxation. I'm incapable. Like I told Stacy, I was like, bro, and oh, this is, this is, how much time did we fucking... We're good. We're okay. good. We're, we're speeding up ton fast. I'm going from topic to topic right now. Wait, 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 wait. Huh. Do you think you're going to remember if I talk about something else? I want to ask you, are Arabs, majority of them, are they Muslim? Like, is, is Islam like a, a big religion when it comes to Arab people? I think so. I mean, I feel like it's almost equal, but I've been told otherwise. Hmm. Because I know like Moroccans know are like, mostly all Muslim, Egyptians are mostly all Muslim. Because you know when people are like, hey, like, I don't know if you've ever seen this, but some people are like, I need to learn from the, the Arab girlies. The Arab girlies always know mm. how to be treated by men, da, da, da. like once you get an Arab friend, you But know I think that's that. also part of the Arab culture. It's not even, uh, even if they're not Muslim, they also have that culture of mm. like, the man pays for literally everything. Yeah, everyone says like, get you an Arab friend. I think I'm gonna add on to that. Get you a Muslim friend because I've not known jack shit. I was over here doing fifty motherfucking fifty, and I, I you, learned, bro. I would look at Stacy like, "What are you doing?" Are you so, that? The thing is, I was with I was with the fifty fifty ass nigga. Then I met Layla while I was still with him. He cheated. Oh my gosh, how can you be doing fifty fifty and then doing <laughs> and then doing slipping around doing getting STD? Oh my father, my god. Oh my father, my god. <laughs> we are in the, the afterlife. No, bitch. What's that place called? Not the afterlife. I don't know. It's basically hell, but I don't know what word I'm looking for. But um, when I met Layla, it was like on some like, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You guys are breaking up. You guys are okay. He's cheating on you. But like, what, why are you fighting for this relationship anyway? Do you actually want, like, do you see this relationship and what it actually is? Like, do you actually want this? And I was looking at her like, wait, wait, fuck. Wait, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what? Like, I don't understand what I was looking for there. Like now I'm just like a pretty princess who my only job is to be stupid and be pretty, dumb and pretty and, and put on a cute outfit. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a simple life I'm over here I, now. I, I, sh- me for, like Stacey used to watch me like like dub niggas on some like oh you didn't open the door the second I got up. Dubbed. Oh, you didn't pull out the seat when I was walking towards the chair. Dub. And Stacey was like, hey, this is unrealistic. This is not gonna work. And I'm like, no, just watch. It is gonna fucking work because there is somebody out there who's gonna fucking do it, and you don't need to fucking lower your fucking standards because this nigga didn't pull the fucking. Ch- Bro, when I when I, oh, when a nigga tries to hit on me and then proceeds to not open the door, you're blocked. You're fucking blocked. I just spit. You're fucking blocked. I grew up in a house where, and I did not realize this until Stacy pointed it out. I didn't know this was even a fucking thing about my family and the way that I grew up as a Muslim woman. Me and Stacy were in this fucking apartment. We're moving in. My dad was running around Los Angeles, California, picking up Yo. everything, bringing everything. And then after he finished everything, he sat down and I was like, I kind of want strawberry milk. I didn't even blink. My father stood up, put his shoes on and left to go get me strawberry milk. Guys, like, that's my, my, when we were moving to this house, I did not know I had two beds, a twin size and a queen <laughs> size. And I didn't know whether I wanted to keep the twin. The twin was free from a company I used to work for. The queen I paid for, so I kind of wanted to keep the queen, but my bedroom was too small for the queen. So I was like, what the fuck am I gonna do with this queen size mattress? So I'm sitting there, I'm confused. I'm going back and forth, back and forth, but I'm thinking out loud on some like, maybe I'm gonna keep the new twin. Maybe I'm gonna keep the queen, but the queen, but the, and he's just like hearing my mouth, but not understanding really that I'm like, I don't actually, like I'm not making any final decisions right now, but based off the me thinking out loud, I come downstairs. The queen size mattress is folded into four and put <laughs> into the trunk of the car. Cause and mind you, part of my me not wanting the queen size mattress was like, how am I gonna move it from this house to this house? He we said, don't one even worry hour. about yeah. it. We only have one hour to do it. But we can't rent to U-Haul. We, our, our car is too small. How are we gonna do it? This man bought it from the third floor to the bottom, folded it into four, and put it into the back seat of the car. I literally was like, where the fuck is the queen size? He opens the trunk of the queen size. The queen size. So, wow. 
Wow. She didn't even ask him, bro. He just heard what she said and took it upon himself to go and fucking do it. And you know what? If people are like, but that's your dad. My brothers do the exact same mm-hmm. fucking thing. Mm-hmm. My brothers do the same fucking thing. And then like Stacy does like goes along with us now as well. Like I, when I'm going to travel somewhere, like even just when I left home, pack my my suitcase is fucking gigantic and it's heavy as fuck because I have so much makeup and big ass shoes. Brought my suitcase to the front of the top of the stairs. Walked down the stairs. I said, I have my suitcase is up there. He brought the suitcase downstairs. Then half of walked in the door. He picked up the suitcase. He took it to the car. Put it in the car. I'm not carrying shit. Bro, I used to be me. a muscle I'm not carrying, mommy. Like I used to be a muscle mommy. I used to be like, like little arms. I'm not doing nothing. I used to be like, okay, sissy, let's go. <gasps> and so I started carrying my shit. <laughs> but it's like, and I never ever asked for help because I just was like, okay, I'm supposed to be an independent woman. And the guy's like, supposed to be I N D P E or whatever the fuck. Now even I even get a notification. Oh, your Instacart is here. I'm like, oh, I ordered like some groceries and going downstairs. I walk outside, put some Crocs on, and then her brother's like, where are you going? And I'm like, downstairs to go get my groceries. And he's like, do you need help? I'm like, yeah, sure. He takes my, what's the number for the Instacart? He goes downstairs, he gets it, he brings it back, packs it away. I said, the, and then you expect me to want less in a man. When I've seen the things that God has done in other men, mm-hmm. you expect me to want less in a man. You expect me to, bro, I've had niggas now who pay for everything. So when I meet you, and you don't pay for everything. You got to fucking go. What's wrong with you? When I, I meet niggas who open every door that just like put my jacket on for me? Are you dumb? And you're making me pull my own jacket on? Are you? My arms don't work. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Get the fuck Bro, out. What's wrong with you? That, that you can't do the things that other niggas are doing. You, are, you gotta go. You're back for business. And Stacy was asking me like, wait, how do you how do you get this kind of reaction from men? Like, how do you get them to just do whatever the fuck you want them to do? Act like a fucking dumbass. You are stupid. You are just a dumb little girl. You don't know anything. You didn't like. It's just you just play into this whole like, and some some men love that shit. Like some men are like, they just love to protect somebody and just feel like I'm their superhero. Like I just I just fucking lifted that shit for her. I just bought her flowers. And look how happy she got. Ah, uh, like it's like men eat that shit up, bro. So let them, yeah. let them eat it up. I mean, if you're hyper- giving them, you're giving him a soft life. You're giving him a. You open the door for him. The other day I was walking past Seven Eleven. This bitch opened the door for her nigga, and then he also was looking at other bitches. I was like, it's bitches like you who make men think this shit is okay. Me personally, and I told Stacey, <laughs> that shit was embarrassing to see, bro. You opened the door for him. <laughs> you open the door for him. Mind you, you stare at another bitch. Go home, change your locks, block him. Like, what do you fuck? That shit was actually that hurt to see. And I was telling Stacey, I was like, Stacey was like, wait, how do you get them to pull the seat out for you every time? so easy you just act stupid as shit lolly gag like it's like when you're walking to the door some girls be like i don't know if he's gonna open the door for me so i'm not even gonna take that embarrassment of like waiting for him to open the door and he does it so i'm just gonna go open it myself no you walk slow let him get to the door first and then see what he does and if he doesn't open that door open it your fucking self and never talk to that man ever again it you couldn't even do the bare fucking minimum of opening the door, open the door. but like if, if you're a girl and you want him to open the door Walk up to the door and just wait there. Yeah, I've been doing that. Hold your purse with both of your hands and just uh, look at the door. Like, don't, don't, don't be on some like you're not gonna fucking. You're not yeah, gonna, don't be on some. Like, just stand shit. there and just be like, you're. Remember, you're a nice, delicate yeah. girl Flower. who's used to treatment like this. So you're just waiting for the normal treatment of a man who's gonna. Open and like the, door. the nigga could be not shit, but when he sees you're already on this type of time, he's like, oh, okay. And it was also men. It's like they get away with what you let them get away with. And for some reason, we all have this thing where we think men are stupid. They are not dumb. When you ask him to wash the dishes and he does a terrible fucking job, he did that shit on purpose. So next time you want to ask him to wash the fucking dishes. You need from jump. You need to register. This nigga knows what he's doing. They're doing what they're doing on purpose. You just play into your hyper feminineness and let that shit Mm -hmm. fuck. Let him take care of everything. But it's the same thing vice versa. First of all, ladies. You should never cook for a man. Like, if you guys are not married, even married, I don't know if I'm going to be cooking for my husband. But, um, I convinced everybody who I talked to now. Yeah. Okay. As I was saying for the camera died. What was I you saying? don't want to cook. Oh, yeah. Um, basically, my MO, and it doesn't have to be yours, but it's that you just don't cook for a man unless he's your husband. Like, why are you doing wifely things when you're not a wife? Mm-hmm. Please tap in. Please lock in with us right now in the unit we need to lock in. Um, but I was making a point about that. Oh, so in, in, in like, because I was saying, like, damn. I was saying, like, we're talking about men and how men 
how we need to play into our femininity. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was saying like basically pro tip women play into the fact that you don't know how to cook. Like as a woman, I this is what I'd be doing. I'd be acting like I just don't know how to cook. Even though I'd be I can cook, I can like I can really cook. I act like I can't. And then when they do ask you to cook, you cook something very much disgusting, very much like mini hot dogs wrapped in like gummy worms. <laughs> And then like give it gummy to them and act like it tastes so good. Like oh my gosh, talk about pigs in a blanket. You said gummy worms. No, make them something like even you, even your own sense and your own taste buds didn't even tell you that it tastes like shit. And you just eat it and like it's so good. Like isn't this good? They'll never make you cook again. Now all of a sudden you guys are together and he got a chef, yep. a private one, or he's gonna cook. cook. Yeah, or he'll cook. Like bruh, be stupid as a woman. Be, you don't have to be actually be stupid, we're not stupid. I saw, I saw an interview, this is a really good example. I saw an interview from like fucking so long ago. It was like in those old timey ass cameras where they asked a woman like, do you do 50-50 with your husband? How do you feel about your husband doing all the paperwork? And she was like, I don't care. That's less work for me to do and more work for him to do. And it's like, people, people like are like, no, that was such a long time ago and women deserve to like, it's like, bro, you go, you go to work. <laughs> Me personally, I'm not fucking. But he can do everything. And the thing is, I know there's gonna be some men who are like, it's women like these, or like, d like have a problem with what we're saying. There are also other men who are very much on the same type of time. Like I've had men who like, let's just say I try to pay for something and they actually just either cuss me off for paying for it or take my card out of my fucking hand. Like what the fuck do you even think you're gonna do? Mm -hmm. Like they're like hyper hyper masculine, and just the way you were hyper masculine. I am hyper feminine. Yep. Let's get it. Those let's are the ones get it, I'm let's get it, to. let's get it, let's get it. Those are the ones I'm talking to. I'm mm -hmm. not talking to you, sir. The ones with the problems. You keep on being your bad bitch self. So. Me personally, I would be the bad bitch in a relationship. Yeah, so. no. You you keep keep at it, queen. We're here for you. <laughs> I have some pink paints that look good on you. Yeah, no. <laughs> I I psh, there was only oh, bro. I let's not sit here and act like I've not talked to niggas. I've talked to niggas. Why? Because eventually I want to get married as well. Don't fucking call me a slut for that shit. How do you think I'm gonna meet somebody? Letting you know that. I've talked arranged. to niggas where it's like, yeah, I'm not fucking doing an arranged marriage. You got me fucked up. <laughs> Sorry, I just came at you for absolutely no fucking reason. <laughs> but um, I've talked to like niggas before where it's like, there was only like, I think two, where one of them, you only didn't do these things simply because you actually couldn't afford to do these things. And that's okay. Like, it's like, I mean, we're all young. I can't really get mad at you right now. But that's my fault for talking to a young nigga. That's truly my fucking fault. That was like a dub. It was like, you are finished. Get the fuck out of my face. And there was another one. You have the funds to swipe your card right now. You have more than enough funds to swipe your card right now. But for some reason, you're just not fucking doing it. Why? Because you think I'm just gonna be like, look, he paid for this for me. And I played that nigga at. Like, it's like, bro, you fucking, you're, why are you always thinking about bad shit, first of all? But like every other nigga that I've tried talking to, it's like on some like, I don't even have to think. Bro, when I step out the house. Bro, when, when, I, when, I, when I'm with those niggas. I remove my brain before I leave I the house. I leave the brain and pick up the lip gloss on the way out the door. <laughs> yeah. And I just to be just like, ah, like, yeah. It's like they pay, they talk. But when, I, when I'm listening, sometimes I'm like, I go out and <laughs> I've had men like, order my food for me. Not on some like, this is what you're gonna eat, but it's like, we've already had discussions as to what you like to eat, like what you, what your favorite. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I think you like this, you like this. Yeah, and I'm just like, mm hmm, mm hmm. And the way it comes, mm hmm. More mimosa, mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I was having a good old fucking time, and then the fucking the waiter recognized me when we were eating, and so I was just on some like, oh my god, hi! I'm like, yeah, no. And he's like, who the fuck, how the fuck do you know the way? I'm like, we're fucking friends! Ah. Like, it was like, you pay, you think, you order, you slap me in the face when I pay. When I, pay. I love this! <laughs> Like, I mean, friends. if you personally, if you're listening to this and as a girl, you, I don't know, for some fucking reason you like to do this 50-50 thing, you go do that. Kudos to you, babe. But I don't ever expect that from the nigga that I'm going to be with. And also, I was like telling my mom, my mom's like, you work so fucking hard lately. Like, just come back home. Like, why, why are you doing all of this? You're never home. And I'm like, mom, when I'm 30, I want to be set for life. Like, I want to be 30 years old and I just want to relax. I don't want to worry about nothing. If I end up having kids, I want to be able to give them the fucking world. And my mom was like... Why are you thinking about that? And I was like, what do you mean? She was like, who, wait, why do you think you're going to have to pay for those fucking kids? You're telling me you're thinking about getting with a nigga who's not going to pay for everything? I was like, no, 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 no. But I mean, sometimes, what, what, imagine if I get with a nigga and then we break up and it's like, now I have these fucking children. I got to take care of them. So I want to be able to, if a worst come scenario, I have money in my bank account to come to me, take care of my kids without having to fucking work. But my mom like actively installs in my head, like, why are you working? 
I know we probably like, sound so like dumb little girls who just ugh, dumb ass little girls but like I was talking about this with my aunties and I posted a video with my aunties where I was talking about like you know gender roles and like what the fuck like and I was telling them all this that we're saying and they were basically telling me like they need to spit that out of your mouth you need to understand that this is not the way that life works but it's like <sighs> mind you all of my aunties are living soft life it's just like it I mean like their basis of their argument was you you are gonna have to ask for, hair, for for money to do your nails and you're gonna have like basically you're gonna be at the mercy of the man all the time but it's like and it's not necessarily like you guys guys it's softer than it sounds yeah it's softer than it sounds Dude, they're I'm not really thinking about I'm the bad slave. thing that's gonna possibly yeah. happen i'm not a slave and i'm also not like laying down on my back doing nothing with myself like i'm obviously i'm smart I have a, bro, I was telling my aunties I have a degree. You think I, I'm going to sit there and be stupid? I'm not going to be using the degree, but I'm not stupid. I've proven myself at this point. I'm not going to have no money to my name so that if the man sends me out the door, I have no way to get around, no way to mm -hmm. do nothing. I'm going to have my bread and his too. Mm -hmm. But you guys are, like, the way older generations think about it, it's just, like, so, like, <sighs> like, you're just, you have no aspirations in life. Just lay on your back. That's all you want to be is some man's, some man's, housewife and this that no bro you mind i literally told my aunties in that video you guys mind your neck mind your neck you congratulations on the situations that you guys have with you know you guys mm -hmm. mow your lawns and you guys pay your bills and guess what i will just see you guys on the other side of the yeah. community and um i'll let you guys meet my, my husband he's gonna be a good son-in-law he'll take care of y'all too like I, I just told him like let me do my thing you guys do yours like all I'm, all of like my aunts and like aunties, they're not really my aunt, they're just like other Somali ladies that I fucking know that I grew up with and that they like raised me or whatever. All of them are like on some like, they, none of them work, bro. They do have jobs. They work at like TJ Maxx or Target, but it's on some like, this is pocket money for me and my girls to go out to dinner. Like it's never like on some like, okay, I need to work seven days this week from fucking 7 a.m. to fucking two in the morning so that I can manage to pay my rent. It's on some like, I'm gonna work like two days this week. So that I can have like $200 by the end of the month and then I'm just going to use that. Me and my girls are going to go get dinner together. The man is what the one who's like, like he's getting the rent. He's worried about that fucking shit. And, and that's just like, I never even, bro, I never even knew there was like men out there who could be like this. Like who could be like, exp you exp wait, I'm sorry, you asked me for something? I'm truly confused right now. They're very comfy. I don't I, like that. I just, I, I see my aunts and my uncles and my mom and my dad and my grandparents. Like I'm just looking at them like. This is a life I'm gonna live as well. I'm never going to have to worry about shit. I'm gonna go about life like a little princess. The thing is, the thing is, we're looking for the men who, there's men who like, the same way we are so like, we just wanna be that princess, that girl, we mm -hmm. girl. There's men who there's just men wanna be that man. They only wanna be that man. They'd like, I saw this video of this guy on TikTok who was like, I literally love giving you money. Like, I don't know what it is, but I just love giving you money. And like, his girlfriend's not like a money monger or whatever mm -hmm. the fuck it's called. But like, he just said he loves giving her money. Bro, go you! Go you! Like, you love it, I love it, we're both winning. Like, mm -hmm. it's not like, I feel like when we, when we say things like this, it's men like, think of it, it's like, you just want to use me. Yeah. You just want to use all my fucking money. And this conversation no, that's not, not what it is. It wasn't. But that's you. not even what it is. I'm not trying to use you. Yeah, but even the, I, your, the conversation was not meant for you. You, you're broke, obviously. So get the fuck out of Small mind. It's okay. You're small minded. You're broke. You, you obviously can't afford to spoil your girl. So I'm not talking about you because I don't fucking want you anyway. But yeah, we keep going <laughs> with another one. No, the comedy camera's about to die anyway. Um, let me see if I have another topic right now. But I don't. Th I think we went through all the topics. Um, I'm literally taking off all my nails right now. Like, oh. The last topic we had is not that interesting, so I think we're done. Yeah. I can't believe you just ripped that off. Ew! You look like you just got beat up. Yeah, I did. <sighs> you know what just played in my head? I'm a boss! 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 I don't fight bitches like you! I I pay bitches like you! <laughs> Yo, Biggie's a mess. Biggie is funny as fuck. <laughs> I'm dead. Okay, guys, we're gonna finish off here so that I can go and pack my bags and we can just, you know, do something else. I don't know what we're gonna do. We're gonna eat dinner. Did you eat dinner already? Um, no. I'm having a protein shake for dinner. I don't want oatmeal. That's getting a little really cold in my stomach with a nice good lining. The oatmeal that I made earlier? Mm -hmm. Okay. But yeah, we're gonna 
go eat, we're gonna go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of us just running our fucking mouth. <laughs> thanks. Well, for thanks listening. for watching. <laughs> um, we're <laughs> just a uh, gilly pop, gilly pop. Um, <laughs> make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and then let us know what you guys want us to chit chat about. Hit yeah, you guys can give us topics as well. Mm -hmm. These are all just things that we've just accidentally come across. Yeah. Um, hit the post notification bell down below so you get the notification whenever we post. XOXO. Gossip girl. XOXO. Wait. <laughs> TTY XOXO. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck is that song? TTY LXOX. Show up in the same dress. We don't know who wore it best. Uh, it's a new trend. And it, baby, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye. I'm going to cut my ass. <laughs> Action. I mean, cut. <laughs>